Welcome again to the interview of Taltalangase uh, Silas in the Wering Zone in the region of Lambasa. And we thank the Lord for the opportunity that is given for him to come and uh, share his testimony, what the Lord has done in his life. And uh, we went through uh, some uh, radical changes in his life as a young man, as a, a teenager during his school days. Now uh, he was talking about uh, being in Dick Smith uh, Island, which is in Malolo, working as an engineer. Atal Praise the Lord. I was in uh, Malolo that, uh, in uh, 1996, mid of 1996, uh, in the month of. Uh, month of uh, October. I was in Malol and uh, I spent uh, only three weeks in Malol with uh, Mr. Dick Smith as uh, a conversation was uh, done in the in the workshop which uh, I know my, my job. Uh, actually uh, I am uh, an uh, automotive engineer in the automotive plant which is uh, deals with uh, Caterpillar and all those big big machineries and uh, that time was we've got a breakdown in the in the workshop which I, I managed to fix the uh, but uh, through the jealousy and uh, uh, bad uh, conviction from my boss, uh, that's why I got chased. Then uh, I said, okay. And that is the, the Christmas Eve of uh, 2000 and 2006. I came to, to Nandi uh, because I, I demand my pay from uh, Mr. Dixie Mint. And he managed to give me my pay. And uh, I received around about uh, $400. $400 for only two weeks that I work so I, ca I came to Nandi and uh, I spent uh, nearly two hundred and fifty dollars on drinking only so uh, whenever I supposed to go to Suba I nearly forgot my name so at uh, the time uh, was Christmas Eve in Suba the the vehicle in Suba was so busy the taxi in Suba was so busy so I end up in the police station in mobile and uh, and uh, the police officer that night was uh, direct uh, taxi driver to, to take me home. And uh, he managed to take me. So when I reached home that afternoon, they are ready to go down to Totoya on that same evening. So I joined them to go down to Totoya. And I don't know that uh, my journey to Totoya go for good. And uh, I don't know the conversation between my family uh, in Suba with uh, my mother and dad in I'm not fit in Vitilevo because I'm not listened to anyone here in Vitilevo. So better to stay in the island and do my own work in the island. So uh, I went to, I spent only one week in Totoya. And uh, after one week in Totoya was uh, uh, Visa Ubunau, normally called Visa Ubunau. One uh, uh, past, uh, lay preachers from other uh, villages come and, uh, and uh, exchange with preachers from my mother's village. So uh, after that, we went to the community hall. Praise the Lord. Uh, as a young boy, we have to, we have to serve. We have to to serve uh, those uh, preachers coming from, and that uh, normally that's uh, morning session. And uh, that morning session, mid of that morning session, I, someone ca come and call me. Can you come? We go and drink umbru there. So I drink umbru that uh, that afternoon. And that uh, and that uh, morning time. After then, the, I make a massive uh, because a lot of things was happening in the village. So my father cannot talk to me, and my father told me like this: "See, your attitude does not suit village setup. You better go back again to Suba." So the next boat, I have to come back to Suba. And uh, that uh, coming back to Suba, I come and uh, further my studies to do my diploma in automotive uh, engineering, which is uh, through scholarship in FVP scholarship. And uh, after that, uh, I have been posted to Ratunovula Secondary School. That is my first uh, posting as far as the school teacher. And uh, with my attitude uh, like that, uh, I go here and there in, in the uh, area of Nandi is not that easy. Because uh, Mandi, Nandi that time was really known as uh, uh, So, um, and that's where I met my wife too. In the, in the first posting. I thank the Lord that uh, picked me the right one to at least uh, stir my life from uh, where I was to where I am in now. And uh, only God knows with uh, a lot of challenges that I face in my life. And uh, my married life too was not that easy. Because uh, many times I just leave them in Nandi and I come down to Suba to enjoy my, to enjoy my, my, my Lhasa with uh, all the relatives and my brothers 
at uh, my in at the very zones in the very zones. So you married to your wife in Nandi from Ratabu village. Yes, sir. But uh, most of the weekend we spend it with our relatives in Zoom. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Uh, praise the Lord. Continue. I mean, I I married in Nandi, but uh, many times I spend with my relatives in Zoom. So uh, married life is uh, is not like. Uh, Life. It's not like married life. I, I I am the boss of my my own self, and uh, I think uh, even for my wife, it's very hard for her to control me because uh, many times she just said, "Oh, he went there, he went here." So uh, I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord Almighty to give her heart at least to forgive me and forget with the things that is happening. Even our, even my even my own family when I've told them I want to get married, and they said. That is the beginning of your career. Why you want to... I'm 28 years old that time. 28 years old that time. When, I, when I've chosen Rendini uh, Talangasi now to be my wife. But I, I thank the Lord. When the family is not supporting me, then I've told my Rendini Talangasi, okay, I'll find a pastor and we have to go. And uh, for that pastor to... Mebakalu to take care of. To bless our family. So uh, I thank the Lord. And uh, to look back with uh, with uh, things that I have in my in my family is is not that easy. Ren so you when you uh, uh, married your wife, she was also uh, teaching in Ratunagula. Oh yes. Sir. Okay. So you were both teaching there. Both teaching. And that's when you met your wife. Right. Uh, what year was that? That is in uh, to year two thousand. Year two thousand. So that's about seventeen years ago. Yes, yeah, seventeen. Years Praise ago. the Lord. So life start to go into some uh, uh, stormy weather, as, especially because you get married, but you still live your own life. Yes. Yeah, like your friends. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, mm -hmm. Then you leave your family mm -hmm. back in there. Right. Yeah. Continue. The, the, the first time that I bring my wife to visit my family in Suba, they've, uh, they've told my wife that I'm not a good man. Because uh, many times I just do whatever I want. I am not listening to any of them. And uh, I, I, my wife never shared that one with me. That, in, that, uh, that side of the story from my relatives. And uh, my wife never shared that one with me. She just keep on observing my life. And, uh, and that, uh, and that uh, story was uh, seems to be... A true story to her in the in the way she she observes my life, Naniro Bula Nibawati. Because uh, after seven years, I never bother and care about them. Even I've got a daughter by the time, and I never bother. And uh, one time when I reached one uh, afternoon, one Saturday, one Sunday afternoon, when I reached home, she gave me a letter and said, uh, "I'm okay to be staying with my parents. If you want to find your your life, you can go ahead." So uh, that time I, I cannot do more. I usang talagang kailan nito kabinto nuka. Sa pagkay luto kaya usang nga na karus a bitay niya. Betarus sa antam bisat nga. Kaya beto tuko na lubikira. She was carrying my my daughter, and my daughter was naming after my mom. So uh, that same year, when the, my wife uh, was give birth, the same year that uh, my mom passed away, 2000, and uh, that was not an easy time for me. As to me, we pass some tragedies. Na na kada kababiyo nung na na nung wishes to be out, but kaya na nung gugere ita na bulan ni watuya. Because in our family, I think I'm the only one, the two of us with with a daughter. Everyone they've got a son, not a daughter. And really, we have girls in our family. Eh, na ni tumbulan ni bubal. Eh, libo nga na tangani. Eh, seven ni seven ni son na yun lang. Blata. Na ko kito mbo we are now kito kito mbo ba ulvin yan na we are so blessed because at least we've got a daughter in the family to help the boys. I've got three boys and one one girl. That is not easy task for so whenever we visit we visit our relatives even from my side from my side they love to stay with my daughter because very rare in our family to have to have a girl. Praise Lord. After that to Nabula, yes. secondary school. Then uh, other school you posted to? After Ratu Nabula secondary school, I was posted to Ratu Kandabulevo school. Ratu Kandabulevo school, uh, 
where I have mixed everything together, which I became the chief steward in the school, when none of those, uh, of those old people seems to be old in that time can manage or can the, be the chief steward. Then the principal approached me with Tal Tal and he said, Tua, you can become the Tirana Lebo. I said, yes. But uh, surprisingly, that time, I don't know how to preach. I, I, I don't know how to vagatambo, vagabonua. So you accepted the Tirana Lebo position just because you approach. Amen, sir. But you, you, you haven't given your life to the Lord. No. You still drinking? I still do. You still smoking? Still smoking. Kava? Yeah. But they given you the responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. They they gave me the responsibility uh, because. Amen. Uh, Amen. 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 Okay, you go down to KVS. When I go down to KVS, I've called the Tal Tal in KVS and I've uh, told him, see, I want to come and learn a few things about preaching because I don't know anything about preaching. I heard story from the from the pulpit, but the same story I'm applicable with the, with certain few sorts of verses that just suit that, uh, that story, which I don't know whether it's a true story or it's uh, just a lie. But uh, those are the kind of preach that I did. It's a uh, ekalomata me chingo limo na miniti. Praise the Lord. So you uh, Turana Levu, you continue. When did you leave the Turana Levu? When you start to like to to change your life from that uh, uh, mixing, uh, uh just uh, want to do whatever you want to do. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank you, uh, sir. Thank you, Mkasili. I would like to take this time to thank my Mkasili. Amen. When I met the Lord, uh, when I saw his DVD, way back in 2007, that is, uh, normally I heard that he said that that is where the tire meets the tassel. And uh, that's the end of my Vagavitalia in my life. During my uh, time in Ratu Kandavlevo, uh, I do whatever I want. And, uh, in, in you know, many times they cannot control me. Even the vice principal told me, hey, what kind of tirara you are? Uh, I said, sir, what, what for? I cannot control you because uh, whenever you want to go, you go. I said, you people chose me to become a, a Tirara Alev. Then the, this is the, the responsibility of Tirara Alev. With less teaching job, I'll have to concern, concentrate more and on to the... go whenever you want to go. And to go... Do whatever I want to do. Right, sir. Yeah. Uh, and those are the things that... Uh, so, uh, after Ratu Kandavalevo, I was posted back to Nandi. In Watu Alevo, Nandi. Uh, that, uh, that in 2006. So... Uh, when I posted to back to Nandi in 2006, uh, one of my uh, 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 uncle, uh, my wife's uh, fa uh, father's uh, brother, the younger brother of uh, my father-in-law, so he was uh, Ngasi Nilotu at Ratambu Village uh, Church. So uh, they told us, okay, if you want to preach here, you have to bring the the letter from your from your Tambadadak. The letter from the Tambadadak of Ratu Kandavlevu that you are lay preacher, uh, so uh, we can accept you. So that time we are start, we are not going to church anymore. So you staying home? We just stay home. We just stay home and I've uh, told my wife. Because my wife, uh, secondary school was in Jasper and she knew how to fast. So uh, she taught us, okay, we fast, we, we fast and pray. So we start fasting. So many times I fast, uh, break fast with the, with the bowl of angona. Uh, that's the way I do things. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So uh, we start uh, like that and uh, I went for, for the studies. Still in Votolio. Uh, I apply for a further studies here in uh, FIT that time. FIT that time was running a, a course uh, which is a program from uh, University of Nuk Newcastle, which the lecturers from uh, University of Newcastle, they have to come down to FIT and conduct the, the courses. So uh, I came down to Suva, go back uh, many times in the in after that uh, done normally done in the holidays and weekend. So uh, we are just staying home, no church uh, that time. So I came to Suva, that is in 2006, 2007. In October 2007, two. two uh, 
25th of October 2007. I watched a DVD in my brother's place. And uh, this uh, DVD was given to us by uh, Tartanga Semur. So I watched the DVD. I never completed the DVD. And uh, the, the, the gentleman who was sharing the, the DVD was so peculiar with the things that he shared on that day. And it was a Because uh, for the long years I spent in church, I never knew that the Angona Nibichi was, was in the Bible. And even I, I saw him with this uh, young team of uh, young mission boys that they doing action song and all those things and all the skits that they did was was really good and uh, so uh, I stopped and I called Rendini I told her today we'll change our our denomination that is my word today because I've asked them and they said the church is in Vatulim and uh, there we go uh, I changed the church and uh, I love to hear and start hearing the word of God from uh, from my Kasselian. Praise the Lord. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, as we come uh, to the second episode of uh, the interview of Tal Tal Gase Sila Si Takayawa. After a long journey in the church, after a long journey as a, as a teacher, finally he watched a DVD and God spoke to him and he started to change his life. And uh, before we take a short break, we'll come back to you. So keep on tuning uh, because more to come. God bless you in Jesus' name.